Welcome back guys. Today we're doing Bench Press Creations Volume 2. In today's version, we're going to focus on the two aspects of the lift that most people will have a sticking point or struggle with. So the bottom part of the lift and the lockout. We're going to show you two that will help increase your lockout strength and one that will help on the bottom sticking point. So stay tuned, we're going to take you through them right now. So next up we've got the barbell floor press. So as you can see, I'm obviously set up on the floor, hence the name. Uh, the floor press is a strengthening exercise for not only the chest, but mostly the triceps. So you're gonna take away a lot of the range. So the hardest part off of the chest to about midway is completely eliminated from this move. So you can really, uh, as you get better with this, you can begin to overload the movement, lift heavy, uh, more weight. So this is going to strengthen the lockout portion of the bench press lift here. So there's two ways to set it up with your feet. I'll show you both as I get into position, but you're just going to shimmy under the bar here. Everything else stays the same with your hand grip and you can either do it with your feet on the floor. That's going to make it a little bit easier or you can do it with your legs straight out in front of you and that's going to be your hardest version of the movement. So from here, on racking, glutes should still be squeezed, heels should be pressed to the ground, and if you're in this position, glutes are still squeezed, natural arch of the spine, and feet are pressed to the ground here. You're going to lower the weight down, elbows touch the ground and deload, exhale, press up, come down, elbows touch the ground and deload, press up. You don't want to rush the movement too much and be just kind of touching the ground and trying to rebound off there because you're going to get that rebound effect off the ground. You're pretty much losing all of your strength uh, potential from the lift. And you run into the, the process of maybe going down two different times and then it's an uneven lift from there. So deload fully, exhale and press up. So the reason that you want to implement a floor press into your plan is because it's going to add a lot more tension onto the triceps and help you build some more mass into there while strengthening the lockout portion of your bench press. So that's the floor press. All right, next up we have bench press with chains. So the bench press with chains is a form of accommodating resistance. The reason that you would use this is because it's going to help us with the sticking point at the bottom. So you're going to be, as the weight comes down, the chains are going to go onto the ground, so the less weight will be on the bar. When we're at the bottom, it's going to be at its lightest, and that's actually the hardest point for us. And as we come up, the chains are going to get heavier as they come off the floor, and they're going to get heaviest where we're our strongest. It's also going to help us with that lockout position, getting stronger there. Another reason that you might want to do this, aside from working on your sticking points, is it's an inexpensive way to add weight to your home gym. Say so you can't find any weight plates, you go to your local hardware store and you can build these yourself. I made these myself, it's really easy. I'll show you in a future video how I did it. So I'm gonna show you some technique here. Setup is gonna be the same as the regular bench press. Shoulders back, back is arched, drive through the hips. Find out where you feel comfortable. Again, at the bottom position, the elbows should be right underneath the hands. And you can watch the chains as they hit the ground. They're going to get lighter at the bottom and heavier as they come off the ground. So while you're doing that, you're going to feel a lot more triceps. So it's a great way to build the triceps. And again, like I said, work on that uh, end range position and the lockout position. And it will be a little easier on the bottom. Okay, so that's bench press with chains. Okay, so we have the one and a half rep bench press coming up. So this one is going to be a full rep bench press and then half rep up, back down to the chest, and then a full rep up again. Hence the name, one and a half rep bench press. 
So this, uh, you want to do this one to extend the range of motion and the time under tension, but you're also going to get stronger at that weak point off of the chest because you're bringing it back down and then doing that second half rep off there. So you're getting more reps on that weaker part off the chest and then less reps into that stronger part with the triceps working in there as well. So this is going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot more demand on the chest and shoulder flexibility and mobility and strength of those. Um, so they're going to get worked extra hard. So I will show you how to do that. You're going to set up on your bench, just like your regular bench press. So lay back here, make sure your shoulder blades are back and down, nice and tight. Your glutes are squeezed and your feet are through the ground. Get your grip on the bar here, lift off. So the bar should be coming down to about nipple height. Press up halfway, back down, all the way up. So that's one rep. Up halfway, back down, all the way up. Two reps. So you can see how that is going to cause an extra demand on the fibers of the chest and the shoulders because you're getting that extra half rep every rep that you're doing. So it's you know, an extended range of motion, extended time under tension. There's going to be a lot more muscle fiber recruitment and a lot more demand over the chest and the shoulders without tiring out the triceps. So this is going to be a great exercise for you to use as an accessory lift to your bench press or take out and replace your bench press for a couple of weeks in your mesocycles and uh, get a lot more chest development and shoulder strength. So that is the one and a half rep bench press. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, volume two of barbell bench press variations. So we went over the floor press, we went over the one and a half rep bench press, and we went over bench press with chains. So two of them are gonna help strengthen your lockout. One of them is gonna help strengthen the portion right off of the chest. So these are gonna be great variations to throw into your workout programs that help you get stronger, help you increase the time and retention, and help you recruit more muscle fibers so you're building more muscle as you go through. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tag your lifting partner, tag your grandma, tag everybody. Because the more people you tag, the more people we can get in front of, we can expand the channel, and we can just continue helping more people. Okay guys, so help us help you. See you next time. So stay tuned, we're gonna take you through them right now. <laughs> I was gonna say other stuff, but then I forgot what I was gonna say. Today we're going to focus on both aspects of uh, a lift that the... <laughs> Did you overcome inertia?